It's good people, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Big Dre, and as you guys know, I'm a footballer, but my channel is all about crypto, the metaverse, NFTs, I'm just helping you to make some money online. Now, this video is going to be an update, basically on what's been happening in crypto due to the situation in Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia. Now, my channel is not about politics, so I'm not going to be telling, talking about whether it's right or wrong or anything like that. I'm only going to be talking about the financials and what it means for us in the crypto space yeah, and how it affects us. So guys, if you like anything to do with the NFTs, metaverse, crypto, making money online, hit the like button down below, subscribe, hit the subscribe button guys. Most of you watch my videos, don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. Now I'm keeping this real. This is a, it's a real video. I'm not stopping it. I'm not editing it. I just dropped my phone. We're going to keep going. Now, guys, make sure you watch this all the way to the end, as it will be very interesting. It will be entertaining. And you will learn something new. And remember, this is not financial advice. Man's not a financial advisor. Just put it out there before we go further in this video. Now, as you don't know, I like to put a bit of lighthearted banner in there, make things funny. So that's why I'm making a video real keeping it all in there keeping the edits in now the first thing obviously we know what's happened now in terms of the whole situation i'm not going to speak on it too much as i said this is not a political channel this is about crypto but we know what's happening but guys let's have a look at the bitcoin chart and i dropped my glass so let me get it back out okay so this is the hourly chart that I'm looking at here. So as you can see, this is Bitcoin. Now you can see the dates at the bottom here. And this is basically 12 o'clock every single day. Now, you see here the 21st, we know what's been going on. There's been a lot of press regarding, you know, the potential for this situation to escalate. Now, roughly last night, UK time, so I think it's UTC. The situation did escalate, right? Roughly about two, it was about three, actually it was roughly between two and three in the morning. And as you can see, the market started to dump. Now, if you're wondering why that is, it's very, very simple. If we enter a war or, you know, countries enter into war, the thing that people will invest in is not going to be crypto at the end of the day. They're going to invest into things that actually have value or intrinsic value of course crypto has value we all know that but instead of investing into bitcoin or ethereum it would make more sense to invest into actual gold compared to the gold of crypto which is bitcoin so if we have a look at this little chart here this is from gold.co.uk you can actually see it for yourself look let me just show you let me move my big head out of the way so as you guys see yeah, the date today, so you can actually see, is Thursday the 24th. So as we can see, you know, leading up to the event, you know, everything was going all right. It was all going great, mate. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. Then as soon as, you know, it all started kicking off, as we would say in the UK or in England, you can see the price of gold just shot right up. It shot right up. If you're wondering what the reason for that is, as I said, when these things happen, people want to invest in things that have intrinsic value, i.e. gold, silver, you know, other precious metals, so platinum. You'll look at resources, so crude oil. You also want to look at natural occurring gases and also commodities, you know, things like that. I've got a little, what can I say, stat, stat, stat table or... Should I say a little document for you to look at? Let's say a little document for you to look at. So let's have a look at this. So this is what I've done. I've taken some information from this website. This is from inews.co.uk. You can all go and have a look, look at it for yourself. Now, they've done a small little report. Basically just letting us know. Obviously, I've just written, you know, things that you don't maybe may not be aware of. Things that we, in the UK... Um, take in from Russia, you know, the imports or whatever you want to call it. So unspecified goods, that could be food, that could be material, 
It's about two, uh, four point two billion. I'm not going to read out all of it. I'm going to leave it on the screen for you lot to read it for yourself. But here you go. You can see refined oil, non-ferrous metals, crude oil, gas. All right. So now let's go down again. You see, you've got cars there. You've got medical uh, medical equipment. We've got specified machinery and so on and so forth. But if you actually scroll down to this one, which is the second biggest financials. Now, that's what's really important in terms of us, you know, looking at crypto. Now, if you're wondering where these statistics are coming from, it's from the Office for National Statistics, yeah, ONS, if you're not aware of who they are. As I said, I'm going to leave this here. So you can have a little read of it. You could pause the video, have a look for it if you want. There's another one for you. But as we all know, due to going on in Russia, there has been sanctions put in place by European leaders and also by the UK. Now, the UK, we're already going to see the price of our electric bills go up, gas and all that stuff. But the reason why this is important, let me let me just show you guys. And I'm going to use this article from Coindesk talking about China making, let me just go back to the top of it so you can read it, making crypto transactions constitute as illegal fundraising. And if you're wondering why is it important I'm talking about this, let me get into it. I'm saying just keep listening, keep, keep listening guys, I've got some info for you. So basically what they're saying is they made something called, you know, an institute I just keep dropping stuff in this video. Anyway, they've made something called um, a, a legal, what do I call it? A legal, constitute for illegal fundraiser. Sorry. Anyway, so Article 176 of China's criminal law, which state you can get between three and 10 years and get fined up to 50,000 RMB, which is a RMB, which is, can also be broken down. It's similar to. The Chinese yen, if you know what you know, Chinese yen is. The difference between R and B and yen is just that yen is just a um, unit for measurement. It's, it's just different, and so yen can actually be broken down into. I think it's jiao, if I'm correct, and the other one is fan. I might be saying it incorrectly, but I think that's how you say it. Now, why is that important? This section here, as it says. Chinese provocational authorities continue to crack down on the industry, right? Now, if we keep reading it, you see it here, it talks about the energy that is used. Wait, where's it gone? Hold on, guys, I've lost my... Hold on a second. Hold on. There we go. Yep, so, in, Z in Zijian, announced increasing electricity tariffs, right? So Bitcoin mining itself uses a lot of energy. If you're wondering how much energy it uses, let me move my big head to the side again. 81.5 terawatts. So in terms of wattage, yeah, if you're looking at it globally, and you would compare the consumption of electricity, Bitcoin mining, to a nation, Bitcoin mining would actually be ahead of Austria, which is obviously a, a European country, and Venezuela, which is in South America, which is huge because Venezuela is a huge country. And so it, that's very important. And the second reason why that's important, the EU obviously changing their regulations on, you know, how they look at crypto. And that's because of the cost of Bitcoin mining. As I said to you before, this is another article you can have a read of, but it's proof of work. And if you don't know what proof of work is, it's basically just validating transactions and creating new blockchains so that more transactions can take place. That is essentially what it is. And so if you don't want how is this war going to exactly affect crypto? Based on this information that I've just shown you, it's going to have a negative because people are going to be looking to buy, as I said, precious metals, looking at you know, getting gas, also looking at commodities, or as opposed to buying crypto. 
Yeah, but especially gold because gold, the value of gold will always just surpass everything else. So in terms of that, the value of crypto is just going to keep going down because everything is going to grow up due to the effects on supply chain, uh, the supply chain. Yeah, so this obviously disruption of supply chain means that everything is going to be more expensive. So guys, let me know what you think down below, you know. How do you think this war is going to affect Bitcoin? Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Let me know what you think. Based on this information, I think it's going to go down. But I think we should start to see some changes within the next, I'd say, week or two. You know, depending on how the situation escalates or de-escalates, you know, we'll see some information relating to that. But for now, I'd say for at least the next three to five days, we just got to keep an eye on it because everything is fresh. It's all happened today. So the next three to five days, keep an eye on things, see what's happening. And then we'll definitely know what's pretty much going to happen within the next two to three weeks. Anyway, guys, it's been your boy, Big Dre. You should like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's in the source, just by the dip.